Hi, my name is Sarah Malpezzi, and for my final paper, I decided to research um, dialects within American Sign Language. So, as many of you know, in hearing or um, in spoken language, it has accents. Well, um, dialects are the accents in American Sign Language. Okay, so um, this says, what is a dialect? So, um, like I said, a dialect is like an accent in American Sign Language. Um, they're determined by the five important parameters in American Sign Language. That is the hand shape, the movement, location, palm orientation, and non-manual markers. When a deaf individual um, moves or changes something that's different than the standard ASL, um, it is considered a dialect within American Sign Language. And this slide says urban or rural hearing or deaf. Um, from a way a person signs, um, a deaf individual can tell um, if, that, if that person's from a city setting or a country setting. Um, there are um, research to explain this. Like many of um, us know, the signs don't know is like this. But if you're in a city setting, you're exposed to deaf culture, community, other deaf individuals, uh, you're a lot closer together. There's tend to be more deaf individuals in a sitting setting than rather than country where they're scattered. Um, in the city setting, you might sign don't know, not as accurate. So you might go like this or like that. Um, and that shows you're from the city. In the country, a deaf individual is, does not have many um, friends that may uh, know sign language, so they will always sign it in a very precise manner every time. Um, also, there's research showing that maybe they heard it from a hearing individual who learned sign language from a book, so they are not familiar with the deaf culture of just going like this, like don't know, don't know, instead of don't know, don't know. Um, so just by the way you sign, uh, somebody can tell if you're from a city or country setting, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, in addition, there is something called Philly dialect. I did not even know that there was a dialect right in our backyard. Um, people who have Philadelphia sign tend to sign differently than anybody in the Northeast area. Um, as many of us know, the sign in standard ASL for have is like that. However, in Philadelphia sign, it's like this. This is the picture shown there. This is have in Philly sign. Um, there are many reasons to believe um, this because when um, Gallaudet and Clark came to the United States, um, they created two schools. The first one was in Connecticut, and the second deaf school in the United States was in Philadelphia. So a lot of the deaf individuals that went to that school a long time ago stayed in Philly because they had a community, they had other deaf people, um, so a lot of them didn't move. So a lot of um, those older signs have been passed down from generation to generation. Um, when other deaf individuals come from the United States to Philly, they're like, you sign weird. And they're like, no, I don't. It's Philly sign. So um, I thought that was really cool. I didn't even know that there was Philly dialect. Um, this um, dialect is unfortunately dying down um, due to uh, generations just not teaching their children anymore. And there's actually a lot of Philadelphia school closures uh, where the original schools were um, from. So due to a lot of deaf school closures in Philadelphia um, and moving to different neighborhoods, it is affecting Philly dialect. Another um, dialect is social, 
and age variations uh, depending how you sign. A deaf individual can tell if you are um, you're a younger individual or older um, depending on the environment someone choose um, may choose a different sign so if you're older a deaf person for telephone might sign this whereas younger generations tend to sign this just because this is what a phone looks like now not compared to this um, so signs can tell your age um, um, in addition, um, uh, it goes by environment, so younger generations tend to use more slang and um, crisp signing when they're with their friends, and if when they're in a professional environment with a worker or a boss type of environment, they use clean, um, concise sign language. So they can switch back and forth between standard and slang. And the slang dialect um, has an accent within American Sign Language. Uh, another dialect within American Sign Language is Black ASL. Um, many, um, the Black American Sign Language was created in more southern states um, it was influenced by segregated schools in the South. Um, a lot of black signers tend to have um, broader signers with um, a bigger bot uh, signing space and uh, more body language. Um, also, they have just completely different signs. So for the sign bad in the standard ASL, it means really good in black American sign language. Um, the word, the sign for word in ASL means that's the truth in black American sign language. So when you sign word, to us it actually means the vocabulary term word, but in black American sign language it means that's the truth. Um, many um, black individuals are proud of the black American sign language and they can easily switch black back between BASL and just standard ASL. Um, they believe that BASL, Black American Sign Language, um, gives them culture and heritage which, within their identity, and they identify as deaf. So with them identifying as deaf and in creating um, their culture, their history of um, African American culture, they are very proud of that. So that is coming a stronger um, dialect within ASL. Another is the North versus South. There are a lot of different um, signs between Northerners and Southerners. Um, first, people from the North tend to sign a lot quicker. We tend to do things a lot quicker, talk a lot quicker, move a lot quicker, walk quicker. Um, and Southern signers tend to sign very slow. Um, research has shown it's because of our lifestyles. Northerners, New York, we walk quick, we sign quick, we talk quick. Um, it's just the, our lifestyle. So Southern signers sign slow because it's the lifestyle. It's the way they live. They just go with the flow while Northerners were like this. Um, also, um, because Northerners sign quicker, they tend to be a little more sloppy with their sign. So instead of signing M with the curl, sometimes it'll just go like this, with the finger straight and stick it down. And to New York signers, that means M, because they just don't have time to curl it. They just go like this, and they move on to the next letter. Um, same with N. Um, there are notable different signs. Um, for gray and north sign, we sign gray like this. In southern sign, they sign the color gray with a G sliding across the forehead. Another is birthday. 
being north, we sign birthday. I guess birthday. In the south, they sign it by tugging at the ear. Um, also, in, there's hospital. All these words are listed here, but unfortunately, there is a glare. Um, hospital, we sign it with an H going like this to signify hospital. In the south, they go at a, they go hospital on the wrist. Kind of like how we sign nurse, they turn it and do an H on the wrist. Hospital. So, um, from what I gathered, there are different dialects in within um, the United States. It was very interesting to learn um, that it could be local, just from city to country, that uh, we could tell how one signs. And if you're hearing or deaf, uh, deaf individuals can tell, because it's very rare that a hearing uh, person can sign as quick as a deaf individual and as um, fluent. Even if they are fluent, it's just rare to see the two. So we can tell by the way one signs if they're deaf or hearing as well. Um, I do have some discussion questions. Some were uh, what dialect surprised you the most? Um, since I'm presenting this just to you, Dr. Cat, uh, Philly sign definitely surprised me the most. I, most I didn't know that existed. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, it makes me really proud that we're from Philly, even though I don't sign Philly slang. It just makes me proud. Philly brotherly love, Dr. Cat. And um, the next discussion question I presented was since northerners are known for signing fast, do you believe? You sign fast. Uh, yes, I do. I believe I talk fast, and I believe, I hope I sign somewhat fast. I don't want to be a slow signer, but if I do, and then I, at least I stick in with the South. <laughs> um, so, yeah, now learning that, I am more aware of how I sign, and I'm more aware of the different dialects within uh, the ASL culture, and I'm happy I picked this as my topic. Thank you, Dr. Cat. Hope you feel better.